Hello everyone, and welcome back to another GT Scale Modeling Kit Review. This time it's just going to be a quick review of a kit I picked up a few days ago. Uh, recently I got the Meng Gaz Tiger kit, um, which I can do a review of as well. Uh, and then I was in a shop and saw some modern Russian figures here, which I hadn't really considered before, but obviously with having the, the Meng Tiger there, I thought... Ah, great, I'll get some, some figures to go with it. And happened across this box of uh, Zvezda figures here. So, I thought we'll take a quick, quick look. They look quite good. There's pictures of the actual plastic figures on the box here, which is quite handy, because it allows you to see what the level of detail should be like in things. I get the impression they're based off some kind of real photograph of some soldiers. Uh, they're, they're relatively similar in appearance to, to this guy here. Um, I believe what they're sort of meant to be is representative of the um, Russians who weren't Russians uh, when they were involved in the, or weren't involved in the fighting in Crimea. Hence possibly the reason why they all have sort of balaclavas on under their helmets. So this is the box. No, that's quite nice for but I have no idea what this says. Uh, if you're a Russian, feel free to let me know what that says. Um, we get four unpainted figures and one cat. On the side we get some colour callouts, which is possibly Humbr possibly Zvezda's own paint range, I don't know, and Humbro. Um, and it says here we've got 51 parts in this kit. Oh, I was looking at the back of the box. <laughs> That's the back of the box. This is the front of the box. Um, so it's, it's some artwork. Um, I paid £9.54, but that was in an actual brick and mortar model shop. Uh, okay, yeah, still no idea what this says. Oh, okay. Not doing very well, are we? So, modern Russian infantry. Polite people, apparently. I assume that's some kind of weird translation. But uh, these are actually photographs superimposed to sort of look like they're art, but actually I believe they're, well, they certainly look like they're based off a photograph, and as you can see there is actually Gaz Tigers in the background, and the random cat. Um, and all else we get is just some other kits of Zvezdas. In the box you get one A4 sheet, which is the instructions, Bit of your usual uh, how to not kill yourself by American models. Kit includes four figures of the so called polite people and one cat figure. Mysterious military units appeared in Crimea at the end of February 2014. Later ones started to suspect that these polite people are in fact units of the Russian army. Probably quite a controversial thing for Zvezda, being a Russian company, to have uh, produced actually. Since apparently Russia denied all this that they were ever involved, but who knows? Um, got a painting guide here. It's a bit crammed. It's a bit cramped, but I think each guy is more or less painted the same. So it's actually just kind of giving you slightly different views of each person and the cat. As I said, color colors in Zezda's own paints, I assume, and Humbrol, and an idea of the camel pattern here. But it's black and white, so it's quite hard to tell what that is. You'd be better looking at actual colour references. We've got a sprue map here, basically we have two sprues, a little sprue map here within, which is numbered, which is good because you know, the sprues are numbered. And then we have the instructions on how to build the four figures. Pretty straightforward, torsos, heads, equipment, arms, pretty standard way of building figures really, so not much to say about that. Although it doesn't anywhere say how to put the cat together, but the cat is only two parts, as we'll see in a second. So, uh, this is one of the sprues. I think they were originally joined to get them, and they're very similar. So, two sprues like this, two figures on each. Um, let's see if we can get this. So, maybe I'll turn this up so you can see this guy. So yeah, quite nicely detailed, quite crisp, 
Um, the creases are the creases in the trousers are quite round, but actually that's quite nice in a way because fabric very rarely sh creases that sharply, and when you're just got folds in the trousers and things. Um, there's a little, tiny little bit of flash on some of these very smaller parts, but generally the sprues when I had a look around before are flash free, um, which is nice for things like the the guns. There's nothing worse than flash on these fine parts, but. As you can see here, this is quite some, some nice moulding. The barrels are straight and the plastic feels quite hard. Some of these just really want to be relatively hard. So, um, separate scopes, so you can choose whether to put the scopes on. Some of them you're going to be a little bit limited. There's a hand already moulded on that one, so you're going to be a little limited with some of the posies. Um, but I'm okay. They make for a nice little diorama, I think. Um, with the guys tiger and these guys just hanging around outside a, a roadblock or something would probably be quite a, a neat little scene. That's the back of the guy. So the webbing is all nicely defined, should uh, paint up quite nicely. The uh, machine gun, I'm not entirely sure what they are. I, think it, I don't think they're RBKs anymore. I think they're in the Russian equivalent of what I assume is a Russian equivalent of a 66. Might even be a 66. Um, again, hand moulded onto the weapon already there, um, and here we have the cat, which is a bit of a funny little thing. Excuse my dirty fingernails. I've been painting this evening. Um, facial expressions. There's not much in the way. Um, hopefully, you can maybe see this, and that's because. The lower half of the faces are all covered in um, balaclavas and then helmets on top. So there's not actually much in the way of faces, you've really only got eyes and stuff. So if you're not into painting your flesh, this is maybe the set for you because these guys have pretty much all got gloves moulded on their hands or you could certainly probably paint their hands as gloves if you so wished. Um, which means that the amount of uh, actual skin colour you're going to have to paint is relatively low. So, yep, that's that's that. Just a quick overview of what comes in the box of this set of figures. And the camouflage will be interesting to paint, but actually I reckon painting that with a sponge, you know, a bit of, bit of blister sponge or sponge, something would work out quite well for that sort of very fine sort of speckledy pattern that the... Russians who are not Russians war. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.